Hey everybody! Today I'm joined by a lot of Psycrofters and also Pingu. And today I'm going to show you an automatic bedrock remover and especially Y0 bedrock remover. So you might notice you can use Dragon Axe to remove bedrock in, uh, if they fall down in lazy chunks. But this trick is uh, only limited to blocks above Y0 because the way this bug works is that the bedrock uh, lands one block too low. And since it can't uh, land below Y0, uh, you can't use bedrocks to remove uh, Y0 bedrock. And in some cases, it's interesting to remove the Y0 bedrock in case you want to avoid some mobs or um, yeah, build mob farms even lower in some cases. That's why it's interesting to remove Y0 bedrock. And there are some manual setups that you could use. It was mostly shown by Myron Erio. But you can also make an automated fly machine. Um, so that's what we did here. Myron Erio, by the way, also did that uh, previously. Um, he made a flying machine that would remove one bedrock at a time. And to do a little bit of improvement, we remove five bedrock. So maybe XCOM able to start the machine? Yep. Okay. So here you can see the magic. We remove the first bedrock. It's already gone. And yeah, then just some flying machine magic happens. We destroy some piston heads and bring some new pistons into position. And the next row of bedrock is removed. Okay, so maybe we'll explain it step by step what happens. Um, so the first thing that's important, we need those um, headless pistons. Um, because if you reject them, they would delete some blocks, which is important for the setup. So maybe Ito can uh, explain in detail what happens here. Um, okay, sure. So it's just basically uh, setting up uh, Myron's piston layout. So we have a head. So we generate two headless pistons like this, and we move in the pistons. So the extended upwards piston will uh, be used for scheduling a block event for retraction, and then using the top headless piston, we delete the extended piston by removing the head, and then in the same tick, we also pull in. A downward facing piston and then we use the headless sticky piston on the bottom to instantly finish the movement before the retraction event for the extended piston that we destroyed earlier gets processed. Okay so this is basically how we can remove um, the bedrock. Um, what we need to for this setup is an extra set of pistons that you have to place manually and they will also get destroyed in the process um, but yeah, this, it's worth it uh, in case you want to remove the Y0 bedrock. So a lot of um, yeah, uh, work hours uh, went into this farm. Um, so basically everybody on the Cycroft server contributed. XCOM was the, uh, the, the lead guy who came up with the whole idea of the workers on this again. Then uh, Pella helped with the redstone and the slime stone. Uh, Pingu helped with compacting a lot. Also made some really nice. He made a lot of improvements on this machine. He, yeah. He, yeah, he did a lot of the main main parts of the machine. Ita uh, helped a lot with the uh, piston setup for the yeah every, the stuff in, in order to remove the bedrock and methods um, helped with the yeah, TNT system because we need to precisely align the TNT in order to reli reliably blow up the piston heads. Um, can somebody explain what happens to this machine at the top maybe? So the TNT setup. Uh, that's Pingo's machine, I guess. Pingo, you wanna you wanna mention it? Oh, Pingo doesn't want. Uh, doesn't Pingo can talk. Uh, maybe yeah. XCOM, you also know what's going on. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, there's a duper here on the top uh, that dupes, but there is much. Uh, it's a lot more that's happening at the bottom. What happens is that when TNT gets primed, it's always get a, getting this small uh, little momentum that needs to be eliminated. And there is pistons here at the bottom that eliminate that momentum. So you can uh, always rely on piston, uh, the, the TNT always falling on the right spot. So we actually place the, the TNT inside of this little basket and wait for it to, to sort of sit still. And then we align it using two, teen, uh, two pistons from the sides, uh, eliminating all randomness for the TNT. Uh, and then we drop it. That that way we can actually get a reliable TNT to to be dropped instead of getting an unreliable uh, finicky TNT that can sometimes land on a ledge and blow up the machine. Okay, so did I forget anybody that contributed? I guess enemy also did some work and Rago. Uh, anybody else that I forgot? Basically, the whole server worked on this. 
Yeah, this was pretty much a server-wide <laughs> co cooperation from everyone. I don't think a, a single person on, a, on the server didn't actually help out some way. I think Oreo were, were there at the beginning with ETA trying to figure out a layout as well. Okay, so um, how fast is the machine at the moment? Is it one bedrock every 15 or 20 seconds? Uh, has somebody timed it exactly? Uh, we haven't actually timed the new machine. This is a faster machine than the previous one. We could mm. actually try, try time it right now. I think it's like 20 seconds. It's quite fast, actually. Yeah, it might be easier for from the recording perspective. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, anyway, so this would um, yeah work infinitely as long as it doesn't run into anything and as, as long as you place enough pistons. Um, you can easily place those downwards facing pistons um, here, so this is no problem, and they're pushed down um, into this position here. Was, 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 well, it was quite tricky with this machine um, is that you have to move all the stuff out of the way. So that's basically what happens here with all the flying machines uh, since the yeah, explosion is the problem. It's also why we use the end stone here. So in case you want to build this, it's important to use end stone here. And anything else I need to explain? Uh, well, first we should also mention that uh, in order to generate the headless pistons, you have to blow them up while they're extending. Yeah, I can see this here. Precise timings. Oh yeah, I just took the timing twenty and a half seconds for each uh, each layer. And second thing we should mention is that this only works for uh, Y zero bedrock breaking because we rely on the fact that downward facing pistons cannot extend at Y one. Oh, our setup. Yeah, I removed it because before oh, yeah. it's right. stuck. Yes, we can do it. An... All right, let's just set it up here. Uh, where's Ita? I lost you. Oh yeah, here. So as you can see, uh, the piston won't uh, extend, but there's also a quirk where if you place a block that can be destroyed, like leaves or or liquids, then it can extend. Mm -hmm. And for this machine, it's actually important that it can't extend. Uh, yep. I think Myron was also one, the first one that showed it, is it right? Yep. Okay. All right, so anything else? There is just one last thing that's worth mentioning, is that when the TNT explodes, it's uh, also abusing the fact that the TNT can't uh, raycast through, uh, or, or it can't see. What raycasting is, it can't see any other block than the piston heads because it's actually blown up underneath the world. It's actually falling underneath the world and blowing up uh, like right where I'm standing, like here-ish. So it actually can't see any other parts except for the piston heads. Uh, so we're actually abusing that there is a bedrock there. If the, if this was uh, any other block than bedrock, let's say that there was like netrack here or something else uh, that like in the overworld, world, if you wanted to like let's say remove um, any other layer than Y0, then if there is a gap there, uh, it would actually blow up the machine as well. Would it work with obsidian? Technically, uh, yeah. You, if if you wanted to, you could actually place any undestructible blocks, and then if you then use the machine, then it works. But it's kind of painful to place a bunch of obsidian just to be able to remove bedrock. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's it. Um, as always, you can find the world download in the video description. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye. 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 bye.